And we have Mr. Bassman, Gary Mosquito. Let's hear it for Gary Mosquito on bass. Hello, everybody. We have Keisha Braganza on vocals. Thank you, thank you. We have Gwen Dyers on vocals. We have Alan D'Souza on beatbox. Alan, he is a one-man drummer. <laughs> so, Alan, ek choti si All the ho beats like, through him. Yeah. Pe log, uh, I think everyone's kind of shocked as to how you do it. So, a little bit of a demo. Ho do you want to hear something? Go, Alan. Go, Alan. You know, I can see so many people over here. But the noise is, I just can't hear I it at all, man. There's like, there are about thousands of y'all in the room. Put your one on. Make some noise, you know, everybody. Make noise that if you want to hear something. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Is the bass enough? A huge round of applause for Alan D'Souza. I am Thompson Andrews, and we'd like to thank Trini, who makes us sound good. And we also would like to thank this beautiful event, True Blue, and our management, Promo Sapiens, for making this happen. So now that the mood is set, it's time for some romance. I'm talking about a little bit of Indian heritage combined with a strong focus on international trends. Turning what is local into a global phenomenon, creating dialogue between India's past and her future. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present to you True Blue, a joint venture between Arvind Brands and Sachin Tendulkar. Big round of applause. True Blue is Indian style that has been redefined. It captures the imagination of a nation that is proud of its origins and excited about its future. As the world shrinks, we find ourselves playing on a global stage, representing ourselves, our country, and our culture. And as we become global ambassadors, we also turn tastemakers, bridging fashion, design, and our heritage with Western forms. True Blue, ladies and gentlemen, falls into this space. It's a brand that pulls in the country's intense knowledge and wealth of craft, design, and textile, and produces it in sleek, tailored Western silhouettes. The resulting creation is the 21st century Indian man's wardrobe. Indian at heart, and international in its message. From the serene calm of jute and muslin, block printed kalamkari, to the rich vibrancy and energy of spicy reds and paisley prints, True Blue in its very essence is Indian. The brand draws from its roots, from a plush Indian heritage, creating a wardrobe for the urban Indian man about town. Whether he's in the mood for organic, indigo-dyed, geometric-patterned cotton shirts, or wants to play with a shelf of neutral greys, lightly splattered with kantha embroidery, True Blue caters to his moods, his demands, and, most importantly, his indulgences. Jewel-toned colors or monochromatic palettes of whites and greys, True Blue is like a time capsule that captures the past, 
Rendered in finely tailored shirts and trousers, it aims to transmit that past into the future. It's a perfect mix of Indian and international design, skill, and outlook. Now, why am I telling you all this, ladies and gentlemen, when I can actually show it to you? Ladies and gentlemen, the man you saw on screen is going to be on stage shortly. For those of you who, well, those of your family members who want to be a part of this moment, um, there is live streaming of this event on trueblue.now.com. So please message it, WhatsApp it to your family members, friends who are all over the um, country. They, they can get to enjoy this fabulous experience along with you. And now that you've got that teaser, it's time to invite on stage CEO of, of Arvind Fashion Brands Limited, Mr. Rajiv Mehta. And he's going to tell you why True Blue is all set to change your wardrobe. Thank you, Mandira. Good evening, Mumbai. How are you doing? Thank you. Can we have a round of applause for Mandira for doing such a fabulous job? True Blue is the future of India. True Blue is the younger generation of India. We at Arvind are very excited to embark on this journey to take you all along with us in creating the product which redefines us as Indians. We live in a dual world where we are as comfortable in Western clothes and at the same time very proud of our Indian heritage. And as Mandira said, we are trying to bring that duality to life. And with that, we have embarked on this journey called True Blue. And who better than Sachin Tendulkar, the global icon of India, to take us forward. But without your support, we can't get too far. So I would tell you that, tell everyone about it. Make us better, make us prouder, make us a better brand, and make us all a better India. For the future of India, this is what True Blue is all about. I'm not going to take much of your time. All I'm going to say is, True Blue is a brand that never sleeps. It's available to you 24-7. We are open 24-7. Even if the store shut, you can shop online at trueblue.now.com. And within four to six hours, you will have the merchandise in your home. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make way for Sachin now and leave you all with him. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for a truly fit, True Blue man, True Blue fan, Mr. Rajiv Thank Mehta. You. Okay, this is the moment all of you have been waiting for. So I'm going to exit stage and I'm going to let the show take over. So put your hands together, make some noise. It's show time.
True blue legend, true blue Indian hero. He's all of that. But I want to ask him, uh, firstly, how does it feel being here? And in your mind, who is the ideal true blue man? First of all, Namaskar, Sagana. Ithe, Ithe yon far ananda zala, dhanyawad. Okay. Talking about true blue, you know, last 24 years, if I was not in whites on the field, I was in blues. And it, it somehow, you know, blue happens to be my favorite color as well. So I thought I might as well take that off the field and share that with people who have supported me for so many years and give them an opportunity to wear something which is of my taste, what I like. And when Kulin and his team got in touch with my team and they shared their ideas of creating a brand called True Blue, when, when someone like uh, Arwin Fashion Brands approach, approaches you, they have a history. They are mega as far as this business is concerned. 85 years of experience is no joke. So I, I understood what they wanted to create. And this is all about being Indian and touching the hearts of Indians. And beyond that, a product which is created by Indians. You know, so far, you, you'd be shocked to know that most of the products which we travel abroad and we bring back to India are created by them. So we thought we might as well find a shortcut and not let you go abroad. You can buy those products here. I don't want to name the products, but I visited the store, which is right here upstairs. It's fabulous. Not to say that, you know, I was not involved in this. I was very much involved in every little thing because their team came home and they actually figured out my likes and my dislikes. There are certain things which I don't like as well. So it's not about, you know, just filling up the store and, and giving as much variety, but it's about quality stuff. It's not just quantity, it's quantity obviously, but with quality. And that gave me a reason to move ahead with them. And with your good wishes and your support, I'm sure it's, it's, going, to, it's going to create buzz around and, and allow people to wear quality stuff. Actually, there couldn't be a blue is your favorite color. You wore a lot of blue through your career. Um, you're a true blue legend. Honestly, there couldn't be a more suitable fit uh, between true blue and you. My God, that sounds like a poem. But um, a round of applause for the true blue legend we have here. You've answered a couple of my questions all together with that answer, um, Sachin. So I'm gonna, uh, Kulin, I'm gonna ask you, we've witnessed a fantastic start, a beautiful beginning. What a lovely way to launch. I mean, this is amazing. But tell us a little bit about your future plans. So we are very excited. I think um, today we've launched in one of the great centers of retail in India at Phoenix here in Mumbai. So great place to start the brand. Yeah, hey, big round of applause for Phoenix. <laughs> in Sachin's hometown. And uh, very soon, next week, we launch in Bangalore and many more cities across, um, across the country. And we didn't want to limit this just to the people who can come to our stores. So we have gone live online, trueblue.now.com. So we are all the entire beautiful range, the content, the merchandise, it's available for all of you. You can the just show go online. as we speak right now. Yes, is, uh, in fact, this online. is the first time, I think, in the history that a brand is launched live across India. So this feed is literally being watched across India right now. So everyone can enjoy this brand along with all of you here. And we hope to take this to all spots in India. And hopefully this can also be a great brand, as Sachin said, which will go from India to the world and take our Indian aesthetic to many, many more people and more uh, cultures and countries. I really enjoyed the show. And as an aside, this was not one of the planned questions. So I won't make it a question, I'll make it a statement. You've got to start women's wear soon as well. Yes, because we I thought try. it was a sensational show and the garments were so beautiful. 
Right, um, Sachin, a question, a thought. I gave my thoughts about the debut collection. What are your thoughts about this uh, True Blue debut collection that launched today on stage a few minutes ago? I think fabulous collection. This, this evening, early evening, I saw the collection. And even before that, something which fascinated me and touched my heart was, you know, we have rich culture and heritage. And the collection reflects that. Devnagari script is there. And then various other paintings, if you see the collar also, you know, all those kind of things are there. And I've, I find, you know, it is, there is something about India connected to this brand. There's Indianness to this brand. We go abroad and we want to appreciate what they have created. I think our country is changing. And soon the rest of the world is going to start appreciating and copying what we are trying to achieve. And that's been, that's been, that's been a trend. I mean, you see all over the world, the multi-internationals that we talk about, Indians are heading those. So the world is sort of, you know, I wouldn't say dominated by Indian personalities, but definitely the brainy guys are Indians. And I feel proud about that. And the brainy guys have, have created this brand with a with lot of passion. I believe profession is one thing, but when you are passionate about something, the results invariably follow. And here, in this partnership, there is a lot of passion and heart. Indeed, there is. Now, Sachin, when we have you on stage, we have to give the audience here a special treat, a little bit of a behind the scenes about you. Um, we've heard you talk about the brand and your passion for the brand. But a uh, few more questions, a little bit of a rapid fire, if, if that's OK with you. All right, OK. You want to hear a little bit like behind the scenes about Sachin's life? Yes or no? Of course. Right. So if we walked into your home on any given day, what would you be wearing? We want to know. We won't, we won't see you sitting like this. I'm, I'm sure of that. <laughs> no, no. I think at home, if you ask my close friends, then, then I would be dressed casually either in a track bottom or a shorts. I'm a sportsman, you know. So I have to be like a sportsman and a singlet or something like that. If, if people are coming to meet me, then normally a linen shirt and jeans or something like that. But it's, it's all about you know, what I feel comfortable with and what my heart tells me. To me, you know, people keep talking about fashion. Fashion is not for others to look and appreciate and not feel comfortable yourself. I think fashion is all about what you feel from within, whether you are satisfied with what you have on your body or not. To me, good clothing is, is an extension of your body. You know, it should, clothing should fit you like a glove. And as long as I'm comfortable in that, then it really doesn't matter. But, but mainly uh, track bottom and shorts, whatever it is. You know, you have your lovely and fashionable wife sitting in the audience. I should have asked her this question. How fashionable is Sachin at home? But uh, she's sitting in the audience and you're sitting here. So my next question to you is, are you a blue sea kind of person or a blue sky kind of person? In the sense, do you like uh, a holiday you know, by the beach or do you like a holiday up in the mountains? There are not many holidays in my life, first of all. Uh, but as and when I get opportunity, then, then I like to be in the mountains. I think it's, it's really nice. Uh, people must have seen few photographs. I spend a lot of time in Missouri. As and when I get off time, then, you know, it's nice. The weather is good. And also, on a lighter note, I like, you know, being in the shade, nice, cool weather. I liked being the sun if I was scoring grants, otherwise I didn't like being the sun. But, you know, up in the mountains was really nice. You know, it's, it's quite chilled out. And a quality time with my family. You know, that, that is something which I really, really treasure and value. And the kind of privacy also I get there makes a lot of difference to me when I, when I want to go there and 
unwind completely and relax for three, four days, it helps. You have an extremely busy schedule even now. Do you, do you get any more holidays in at this, at this point? Well, now? I mean, when, <laughs> when I was playing cricket, you know, even if you, even if you got a holiday or a break, for some time, your subconscious mind was not able to switch off. You are constantly thinking about the next series or what went wrong in the last series. Wanting to get better. So, it was difficult to switch off then, but now I can, I can manage that. So, in the lead up to this event, you said what your true blue moment was in your life, and that was the World Cup win. Uh, the country went crazy when they were celebrating the World Cup win. We'd like to know how the Tendulkars celebrated. So did, so did we. The, 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 the Cricket World Cup win privately. Well, there was no such thing as private then because the whole hotel floor was... Uh, only the, the team members were staying on that floor. No one else was allowed. So all the room doors were open. There was loud music going on. And God knows how many bottles of champagnes were opened that evening. Uh, everyone was dancing. Uh, though I'm not good at dancing, I made an effort to dance with a flower in my ear. My wife was also there. But that was, uh, that was one occasion where the entire country was celebrating. The, 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 the entire cricket fraternity who backed Indian cricket wholeheartedly was celebrating, which was a big moment. I, I still remember my wife was trying to get inside the stadium and the guys were jumping on top of the cars and they were dancing. But the moment they spotted her, they said, ye, ye ye jate. Ye ko jane do. But the moment she was dropped inside the dressing room and the car went out, guys climbed on top of the roof and they started dancing. And as I call it, those are happy dents to have. You know, because they left some unbelievable memories. And then something like World Cup, it doesn't happen every weekend in your life. You know, I had to wait for 22 years, which is a long wait. But it was worth it. And, and not just for me, but I'm sure all of you. And you had everything to do with that World Cup win. Okay, um, now this one's going to be a little bit of a tough one. And since this is about true blue, my question is this. Tell me a moment, tell us a moment, where you were left blue in the face with embarrassment. Number of occasions. Uh, but the first one I remember, when I was a kid, I was so-called, you know, the, the main batsman of our team, junior team. I used to play with a rubber ball. And then uh, suddenly I joined a summer camp when I was only 11, and I went out to bat. This was my first cricket match with the season ball. And my building friends had come to watch me. They were cheering for me. There was a bit of attention, so I was, you know, feeling good about myself. And I walk out to bat. I get bowled first ball. I can never forget that walk back to the dressing room. You know, there was a small tent. And my friends were just standing next to that tent and not knowing whether to clap or to, you know, sort of come and console. I had to make up excuses. First ball, zero, kuch to excuses banane the. I went and I told them ki ball low rahe gaya, isliya uta nahe. Toh normally mein tumko pata hai kaise batting karta hoon. Next match again, you know, I go out, friends again turn up. This time I better my performance. I play one ball, aur dusre ball pe zero pe wapas bold hota hoon. So I come back again, at least the third time I scored a single. So that day, I didn't tell anyone, but money man me call or upar thi ki at least ek run to bana kya hai aaj. But those kind of uh, moments stay with you. But, but to me, it is not about how the journey starts. How you finish your journey is what matters. And I thought uh, it was a fa fairly and decent And it's the journey, journey itself. It's not always the destination, it's the journey itself. And you know, his true blue moment was the World Cup win. His most embarrassing blue moment was also connected with cricket. That's how much cricket means to you. Okay. Um, tell us the name uh, of a teammate of yours who would deserve a true blue hamper from you for something that he's done, achieved, something memorable. 
which of your friends would you send a true blue? I'm sure you'd send, send a hamper to all of them, but who do you think deserves the true blue hamper the most? There are many funny guys in the dressing room who keep all the players entertained. You know, I think uh, Harbhajan is without any doubt one of them. Uh, Zahir Khan, Yuvraj Singh, Virat, uh, Ro Rohit is a thoda serious with me. There is a bit of age difference, but you know, these guys are the ones who, and you obviously see Naujot Sidhu on television, Magar Naujot Sidhu was also like that in the dressing room or when I went to his room, he was really, really funny. So those guys are the ones, and then Sehwag is, jaise uski batting thi, waise hi personality bhi hai. Waise uska gana bhi hai, baut achcha gata bhi hai. Bilkul. Sings like a dream. Chahe wo batting karta ho, ya hotel room mein baita ho. He's, he's one guy who's, who's really, really special. I think all in all, these guys are the ones who've, who've created that atmosphere in the dressing room. You need guys to pep you up. It cannot be serious planning all the time. There are tense moments, and that time you need someone who comes there and cracks a joke. And these guys are the ones, for sure. Thank you, Sachin, for being so honest and open. It was a lovely, refreshing, non-crickety chat with you. Thank you so much. A big round of applause for the true blue legend. Thank you. Thank you. The true blue all-rounder, the true blue man himself, Sachin Tendulkar. And we're going to take a selfie? OK. Happily. <laughs>